just got out of the Goodwill in Socorro, Texas. Uh, basically, El Paso, Texas. And I got a few things. I haven't made a video in a while. Thought I'd make a little video. These are from yesterday, from Walmart. Ryan's World, $2.50. They sell for about 19 bucks on eBay. 20 something on Amazon. But right now I'm just doing eBay. I think this is like 40 or 50 bucks right here. Gotta test it at home. A few books, I got some routers. Got this little DVD five disc Kawasaki changer plus the system for 20 bucks. I couldn't find it on eBay, but I'm sure it's worth money. What's up everybody? My name is uh, Daniel. I haven't made any YouTube videos in a while. I used to make uh, videos where I would go to a store here in El Paso and I would buy stuff to put on Amazon. Recently, Amazon deactivated my account. Um, I went from 90% positive feedback in my year of selling on Amazon. And out of nowhere, I got attacked with, in about a span of four to five days, I got attacked with negative feedback. It's about 30, 33 negative feedbacks. And so that got my account shut down, so I have to appeal to Amazon. I'm already, I'm already on my third appeal, and my account's still deactivated. So what I decided to do was to hit eBay pretty hard, and you know, you, if uh, one door closes, you go to the other door, and you just keep going, keep going forward. So hopefully, I get my Amazon account back. But until then, um, I got a storage unit. That's where I'm headed to right now, and I'm gonna list some stuff that I bought here on the Goodwill in Socorro, Texas. So I'm also going to show you guys my storage unit and they're actually building the Amazon, the new Amazon Fulfillment Center here in El Paso. They're building it across the street from the storage unit I have. So I got my storage unit parallel to the new Amazon Center. If I was an Amazon seller, hopefully I still am. It's ideal, you know, just being next to it, you know, they have liquidation, they, they liquidate products they have in the Fulfillment Center. So me being right next to it would be a plus, I'd be able to buy products from them I would assume and it's just a nice little strategic spot to be at I think right on the highway I'll show you guys where I'm at I'm taking the back road to my storage unit Nuevo Waco Tanks Road which turns into East Lake Boulevard right on I-10 so this is Socorro, Texas right here got some new houses right there on the side they're building into one of these new houses right here on the side. Well, I'm gonna stop off at my house real quick, but that's the storage unit. So, we're building Amazon right across the street. And I'll give you guys another view on my way back to the storage unit again. Can we get kisses? Can we get kisses? No kisses? <laughs> That's where they're building the Amazon Fulfillment Center here in El Paso. Amazon FBA. And here we go. Franklin Storage. <laughs> Y'all ever heard of declutter? They give you like five cents a DVD, 10 cents, sometimes a dollar if they're any good. So if I, I don't feel like listing them on eBay, wasting my time, I'm putting them on declutter just so I could get some sort of money out of them. Got a bunch of clothes right there, I need to put away. I need like a rack, a clothing rack right here or something. I don't like doing clothing too much, it takes up too much time. I like doing books, I like doing video games. And I need to get everything organized. But this is just how I have it for now. There's all my books right there. I got books. I just sold these right now. I think for like 15 bucks. For the five. I like selling computer ink for sure. I sold this one for 36, 35. 
bought it for like three dollars all my books oh sorry they're not the redskins no more washington managing human resources textbooks go good of course computer ink textbooks i sell coffee too i need to get all my stuff organized but yeah i got starbucks i got pete's coffee I have made a lot of money off these Burt's Bees right here. I did one deal where I sold 400 for like a thousand something, but my profit was about 500. And then the next day I sold to the same person another 500 and I pretty much made a, a little bit more than that. So I profited like a thousand bucks in two days off those Burt's Bees. This is my little setup. I've got the Dymo Twin Turbo. Basically the Dymo Turbo with the two of them built in one. The Dymo 450 Twin Turbo. So that's the Dymo 450 Twin Turbo. It's basically just the 450 Twin, the 450 Turbo built with two in one. <sighs> My computer, heat gun to take off the stickers off of books. Yeah, it's a little bit disorganized right now. I'm gonna list these rims, these Jeep Wrangler rims. And let me give you another view. This is the beginning of my eBay storage unit. Not much to it, but um, once I get everything organized, I'll update the video. And then in the future, I'll make a better video where I have this whole storage unit. I'll have um, one, see I got two racks right there. I'll probably have, probably have four at least. And then right there, I don't know if I should make that a put white on the wall and then make it into a listing for clothing listing station for clothing um i don't know maybe i should have got the rolling racks so i could have i could have put them closer i could i could put more put them closer together and then i could always pull them out whenever i need to grab something but this is what i got i mean i could have got these cheaper i bought them for 43 dollars a piece one i bought a, one i bought at home depot and then this black one I bought at Walmart, they both came out to about 43 each. I know I could have went to like Marketplace and got them for like 5 or 10 bucks. It's a fairly new storage unit, so I hardly ever see anybody here. And I did ask the guy if he could put me next to the power outlet. There's the power outlet right there. There's my storage unit. So all I got to do, I got all my stuff right here. Got my surge protector. All I gotta do is plug this in and I'm good to go. Good to start working. Shazam. All right, I'm gonna ship out a few things I need to ship. What do y'all eBay sellers think? Is it better to work from home or is it better to get a storage unit? This is just the beginnings of my storage unit. I've been selling on eBay for about four years off and on and I'm gonna get serious with it. So hopefully in the future this whole area will be full of stuff but this is the beginning of my storage unit so i got this one for let's see 70 it was on a special for 73 bucks for the first two months so i'm paid for it for two months for 73 bucks and then after that it's 90 bucks a month i mean it's, it's better than renting out a, a little office you're gonna pay 500 to a thousand bucks a month so to start out with the uh, storage unit is good i believe let me know what y'all think in the comments and like the video, subscribe, I'll make more videos. Uh, I haven't put that many videos out, but I'm down to make some more videos if you guys want some, so let me know. All right, this is Daniel. Later. I have two eBay accounts and I started selling again back in May. And that right there is my sales for Saturday, Sunday, and today. coffee some ink some coffee some more coffee pizza espresso coffee got dvds dvds books no no this is a two double 007 nightfall and quantum of solace game got a cookbook some more books some more books this was the mucinex 
this uh, flat rate envelope, $7.15 to ship out. I got all five of them for like $1.50. I made about a good three, four bucks. Not a lot, I was just trying to get rid of them. And it gives me a sale, makes my account look good. This right here sold for $70. Plus uh, shipping was like, what, 11? And then, um, so I made like 40 to 50 bucks on that. I bought it for or five bucks, I believe. Gotta list that. I'm at home now. It's been a long day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, comment in the comment section. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Anything, anywhere you'd like me to go shop at. If you have any questions about reselling, I've been doing this for about four, well, 2016, so over four years. And I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you guys. Have a good day, night, morning, whatever. Bye.